Hey everyone, it's Brad Ross here with another video preview from the It Factor Live 2012 DVD set. Today's preview is Lewis Meyer and Google AdWords. The next presenter that we're about to bring up for, uh, for today uh, has been a, uh, what I'll say is a genius among you. If you are not aware of his knowledge, uh, he's been with you the past th three days, learning with you, participating in the in the workshops, uh, learning uh, from all the lectures, and participating and giving some great feedback during our hot seat sessions. And I had the opportunity to meet Lewis um, God, when I was on tour, actually, before we ever were met in person. Uh, and uh, and he was a customer, and he bought uh, the It Factor course, and and just exploded his business. Uh, with what he was doing uh, and he's in the past couple years he's gone through so many different uh, new ventures he's someone that is uh, is great because he's always looking for the next thing the next big thing always looking to get that competitive edge and one area that up until a little bit before last year's event i didn't even know this was his area of expertise uh, google adwords so i'm going to shut up without further ado i want you to learn from this guy the google master here he is from washington dc lewis meyer Thank you. My name's Lewis Meyer. I am a magician in the Washington, D.C. area. But I actually, more, more importantly, I consider myself an entrepreneur. Um, because, um, to give you a little background about myself, I've been doing magic for 13 years. I started off, as most of you, part-time and uh, had a full-time job and would, did magic birthday parties on the weekends. And then uh, took me about three years before I could build up enough business to where I could actually quit my job, which coincidentally I was fired from. So, um, but uh, there was a new change in ownership and the new owner came in and after 30 days let go everyone. So um, that was coincidental, but it was actually the push that I needed, which sometimes that's what you need is a little push um, to get you to do the right thing. So I decided to go into magic full time, which I did. And, uh, and you know, so many years, 10 years later, I never looked back. It was the best decision of my life. So um, I do family, I do uh, birthday parties. That's what I started out with. Only up until a few years ago did I actually even attempt to venture into that next leg, which is some of the stuff I've been saying. Um, because birthday parties Get are a lucrative. Why Google AdWords? Why is Google AdWords important? Google AdWords, uh, for those of you that don't know, um, if you do a Google search, uh, which I'll do quickly here, let's do, um, Magician, New Jersey. Okay, you see this stuff in the yellow? Those are, those are paid ads that people pay for to be here in this area. John's Magic, number three, awesome. So here's the first, yeah, <laughs> here's the, that's right. Here's the three, these are paid, and you see these on the right hand side? Those are also paid. There are 10 slots on this page that people actually pay to be in these spots. Uh, from this one on, these are organic. So um, to give you the basic terminology, there's organic ranking and then there's paid ranking. Google AdWords are the paid spots. That's the paid spots. Um, here's a funny thing. Um, uh, how many of you, when you're doing a search, a web search, actually click on these little paid things. Raise your hand. When you're doing a search, it's perfect. Two. And this is what society is too. The average is um, less than 10%. In between, maybe 10%. 10% of people actually click on these paid slots. They'll normally just go right here to the first one and they'll start their searches from there. Um, that's what people do and that's what Google knows. And we all know it, um, only 10% of people are actually going to even pay attention to these ad words. Uh, here's the good thing, is that thousands of people are actually searching every single day. So 10% of you know, 10,000 people or 1,000 people is actually pretty good. Question? I know, another question. I would click on that if I'm, more, if I'm ready to buy and I will search downward. Right, right. But statistics will show most people in general, you know, they move right past these. Lewis, at, at John's lecture, yes, that picture on the page that 
the top and at the bottom. I've yeah. never noticed that. Before. Google will, depending on the actual ads themselves, Google will sometimes move these ones on the right to the bottom, which sucks, by the way. You're paying for it and they're moving to the bottom. Yep, yep. The only thing the, in Google AdWords, the only thing you're fighting for are these top three. If you're over here to the right, it's it, the, 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 if it's 10% for here, it's even less for here. So you're fighting for these top three spots. One, number one, two, and three. Those are the top three. This one, Magicians New Jersey, this funnewjersey.com, that's the best spot on this page. 80% of people will actually click on that. The next one, it goes down to like 15%. And then the next one goes down even lower. By the time you get to the bottom of the page, which is here, by the time you're here, you're pretty much not even getting clicked on anymore. If you're on the second page, you're never getting clicked on. I mean, how many of you actually go to page three to click on something? It never happens. So organically, you need to raise your ranking. That's search engine optimization and all the other stuff that we've talked about before, uh, which is um, uh, not what we're going to talk about today. So organic ranking is the best. If you can get there, you've already, you've already done this. You don't even need Google AdWords. But most of us are not in this first or second if spot. If you have an existing account, this is what your Google AdWords account will look like on the, at the home page. If you do not, then it's going to say start a campaign. And we're going to kind of walk through some of the things, that, how to start a campaign quickly. Um, and then we'll move on to a couple other things. Um, let me just show you a couple important uh, statistics on here. It's right at the top. According to my home screen, I have, this is the last 30 days. So in the last 30 days, my Google AdWords campaigns have been shown to 25,000 people. So 25,000 people have actually seen my Google AdWords campaign. 274 of those people have actually clicked on my little thing. That click-through rate, CTR, is 1%. So it's a 1% one, 1 of the people who have actually seen my ad click on it. By the way, the average click-through rate is anywhere between 1% and 2%. So if you're over 2%, you, congratulations, you're doing really well. But it, most people will not be. Most people, and the, is anyone over 2% in a current AdWords? Awesome. So you work on your AdWords campaign, you'll get over 2%. It takes time. It takes time to get there. But um, how many of you are under 1%? Those of you who actually have, yeah, see? So that's where the problem comes in. You're, you're getting a ton of impressions. You're just not getting people to click on your ad. You've got to have at least 1%. What Google AdWords will do for you is bring in more leads. If your website is a crappy website, and you know it from hanging out here at this conference, at the end of these three days, if you're like, man, one thing I learned is I have a crappy website, do not start Google AdWords, because you will pull people to your website. People will be coming to your website, and they're going to leave. They're going to click on it. They're going to go to John's website first, and then they're going to click on yours and go right back to John's, because... Why John? You look at a website like John's. It's fun. It's vibrant. It's enticing, and then they go to a gray, black website that does not look fun. Does not look enticing. They're going to leave, and they're going to go right back to John's website and call him. So, so don't do that. If your website is not awesome, make your website awesome first, then come to this. I think you've had plenty of examples on how to make an awesome website so far. If not, um, let me know. I'm not All show you're doing you is helping John. Right. His website is better. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We help each other. So we go back. We, we've helped each other a long time. Um, so, um, so let me show you um, of my website. If you haven't seen it, this is my website. Um, here's. I'll give you a, a real quick thing. This doesn't have anything to do with Google AdWords. Um, all right, I'll come back to that, actually. You see here, this is my website. I don't know about you, but to me, it looks fun. It looks interesting. But I don't have as much stuff on there. Mine, mine has a lot of text. This is on purpose. 
I, I, I do have pictures, and I do have some other things up there, but I actually, um, Google AdWords looks at your text on your website. If you do not have a, a right amount of text, then you are not giving Google AdWords enough information about your website, and they will ding you for it, and you will pay more than the next person. So Google has these spiders. The spiders crawl over your website every two weeks, and sometimes every three days, and I think they're getting even faster. So every, let's say every three days, a spider is going to crawl over your website, and it's going to look at all... To see Lewis's complete Google AdWords revealed presentation, visit itfactorlive.com forward slash DVD and get your hands on the most complete and in-depth magic marketing home study system available today. In fact, I've packed so much content into this DVD system, I know you'll appreciate having all of the step-by-step -step plans, all of the speakers' presentations, all of the tools, templates, and ideas readily available in front of you to learn from the comfort of your own home. And just in case your brain goes on overload, you've got the DVDs to go back and reference over and over again. Visit itfactorlive.com forward slash DVD so you can begin your personal and professional transformation. I'm Brad Ross saying do what you love and love what you do. To a brand new day. I think it's time for a change.